a little pop music, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of guts. We're talking with singer-songwriter Chapel Roan, who is being called pop's next big thing. She's also being called an absolute favorite by Elton John. And Chapel Roan's meteoric rise to pop stardom has been as infectious as the chorus of a hit, Pinky Pony Club. But with great success often comes scrutiny. In the glittering world of celebrity, some achievements can raise eyebrows, leading many to ask, is Chapel Roan a Nepo baby? a term used for children of established actors who might have an easier path to fame. Unlike some celebrities who've been labeled Nepo babies for having famous parents, think Dakota Johnson, Lily Rose Depp or Lily Collins, Rowan's journey seems far less preordained. Hailing from a small town in Missouri and raised in a trailer park with three siblings, her upbringing was more similar to the raw vulnerability explored in her song Die Young than the glamorous life some might associate with a Nepo baby. So, where did the Nepo baby speculation spark? Maybe it was the quickness of her early success. At 17, she posted a song on YouTube that grabbed Atlantic Records' attention like a catchy tune stuck in your head. But unlike some industry offspring who might waltz into a recording contract, ahem, <clears throat> Brooklyn Beckham, Rowan's journey wasn't a smooth melody. There were bumps like being dropped from Atlantic after an initial EP. Think of it like a song with a bridge that takes an unexpected turn. Rowan didn't crumble. Instead, she channeled her experience, the struggles with bipolar disorder mentioned in interviews, into her music. The result? A raw, authentic sound that resonated with fans. It's the kind of authenticity that can't be manufactured, no matter how much family influence you might have. Rowan's recent success, opening for Olivia Rodrigo and stealing the show at Coachella, feels more like a well-deserved standing ovation than a bought and paid for performance. Her music and the vibrant costume she adorns herself in are a bold statement of self-expression, not a carefully curated image crafted by a team of industry giants. Of course, some might wonder about nepotism lingering in the back of their minds. But here's the thing, talent, hard work and a little bit of magic can propel you to success, even without famous parents. Chaperone's journey is a testament to that. After all, sometimes the most powerful songs are the ones written from your own experiences, not borrowed from someone else's playbook.